Ooh, Park Avenue coffee. Delicious, gooey butter cake. Look at this. The architecture here is awesome. I've seen some really cool buildings. Mom's traditional gooey butter cake. I'm gonna go ahead and get one of those. It's a St. Louis special. Whoa. Oh, it's like a lemon bar. Except I don't know if there's a lot of lemon in it or if there's any at all. Wow. That is a cool looking building. Good morning. Such a beautiful morning. Oh. My beautiful girls are up too. Good yeah, morning, me and Kira. <laughs> Mia has rosy cheeks. Okay, so this is interesting. Kira's playing with somebody. And we think it's Ninong because my godfather, at the Jazz's dad, some of his remains are in this cross. Right when Atta started twirling this, Kira started acting like that. Like she's playing with somebody. Yeah. <laughs> are you saying hi? Do you see my dad? Hey, what do you say? Don't please, please. Look at her hair, it's like flying out, it's static -y. Any position you can get into in this little oh my two by three foot area. She's gone. Oh you look like a crazy. You look crazy. Oh my God. I don't know what's going on. Maybe it's something in the St. Louis water. When JB first started acting like this, he's like, why is she like this? I'm like, she's just being a kid. That's how you're cleaning you know? it. Yeah. Um, that's good. And for decades after the Civil War ended. I'm back at the arch. This is the gateway to the west. I'm just picking up my cousin's car. I love the area that we live in near Seattle, but we don't have you know, something iconic like this right next to our house. Anybody that lives here, you're lucky you get to walk through this all the time. Anytime you want to have something like this, grand. Arch! <laughs> fish? What's a fish? Arch. arch, arch. We're heading to the Mountain House Museum. I've been waiting for like over a week to go here, but I'm excited. I'm glad we're able to fit this into our schedule because we're leaving later on this evening so um, luckily my cousin has her car here because we already returned our rental. Are you excited to play? And at the Jazz has never been there either no, so it will be we'll be like three kids playing in the kids museum. <laughs> now is the time to play the lotto because the winning is negative 50. <laughs> Alrighty where do we go? Right here. Oh man we have to walk further. It's so confusing. The There's like so many different entrances. What are those balloons? Wow, it's beautiful. You have to put a sticker. There, yay! Oh, JB's in the train! <laughs> oh, cool! What is this area? Oh, this is during the Civil War era.
Would you play this game? What sniff is the it? Lid and sniff the box. I'm scared. What do you mean? You sniff it. Oh, let's try it. Sniff it. Identify the smell. Vanilla? No, chocolate. Ew, let me smell. Okay, you smell. Oh, it says it. It does say it. You can see it. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, uh, that's like pine or what do you call it? Peppermint? Oh, peppermint. <laughs> oh my god. Peppermint. Aww, okay, this one. I don't know what you call that. Licorice. Black licorice. Whoa! Whoa. What do you think? I don't know. Caramel. Oh, maple, maple syrup. syrup! Ooh, it's the creepy music. I know it's not supposed to sound creepy, but... Put your ear, listen, GB. Listen with your ears. No, I mean, put your ear against the box. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> there you go. Okay, you can go hold it. And then, Ready? Yeah, put your hand up there. Well, her hair is already standing up. Okay. Yeah. Don't take your hand off. Oh, you have to turn it on. Yeah. And if you want to shake your head, stop your hair. The old times just creep me out. Happy. Mm -hmm. Happy. Mm, yummy. Spicy, spicy. Oh, is it spicy? Not very yummy. Can I get more tea, please? Even JB's scared of it. She said creepy. There's a creepy secret staircase here. It was sealed off at some time in the past, although no one knows when. Its existence was discovered by a window washer. The window washer counted the windows on the outside of the house and then counted them on the inside. There was one less. How could that be? He realized there was one window that could be washed from outdoors, but from inside was hidden by an addition of a new wall. Oh my gosh. So, we're not allowed in. I don't know what's down there, but it's a little scary. What's this? Oh my gosh. Okay. Where'd you go? Where'd you guys go? No, no. It's okay. No, it's not creepy. Oh. Oh, look, Shadow. Oh, oh she really doesn't want to go in. It's She's scared. Going to Chicago. <laughs> it's like she's doing baby yoga or something, or at least trying to. <laughs> We're just waiting for our shuttle, and Daddy's out in the front desk. He's probably asking some questions or something. I think our flight's around 6:30 or 7, and then we arrive at 8. Are we arriving at 8? I think so. I think it's between like 8 and 8:30. It's like we're going back into time. So we're all packed. Alaska. It's actually a shared van, so the poor people were waiting for us. Yeah, to Seattle. And they had to wait for us for like 15 minutes. Abby!
the St. Louis airport and there is only one Alaska check-in which I'm surprised but I guess Alaska doesn't stop in St. Louis often because the one in Seattle has like maybe at least 10. We're just gonna walk around because there's a really long line. I know, I know. <gasps> Let's get out of the way. <gasps> Whoa! We haven't even gotten into security check-in. The lady's like, oh my gosh, your children are so beautiful. Yeah. He has a, such a cute smile, and we're going to see our two grandsons. <laughs> yeah. Because they kind of look like, well, yeah, I don't know. Do what boys kind wear of lace? pants are these for boys, seriously? You know, they just see red sweater. That are kind of girly looking. Haven't even made it to a security check-in yet. Somebody asked me, do you remember what it's like to travel without babies? And luckily I can say yes because we did travel recently <laughs> yeah. without babies and it was amazing. Oh, yeah. So easy. It's like cutting through butter with a knife versus cutting but through a rock miss with a the knife. The perks of traveling with a baby sometimes you get like They have that pre-check in line here, but I don't think they allow well, families here. That was nice. Saw how much luggage we have. That was nice. That was nice. Thank you, Alaska. Thank you. <laughs> Just came up with a new drama series. Instead of Breaking Bad, it's Breaking Baby. First thing she does right before she gets on the plane, prepare the formula. We need more water. She thinks that was my milk. are so dry but we're finally home and it feels good it's bittersweet i miss my family in missouri i seriously wish they would live closer At the same time i'm so happy to be home and mm -hmm. i look forward to sleeping in our bed the trip went smooth um the flight was pretty good the girls did well i think it's funny when you say it the trip went smooth when i thought it was pretty crazy girls screaming in the car it was in the car i the yeah. girls climbing all over us like we're a jungle gym. Well, yeah, they have nowhere else to go. <laughs> I'm all justified in everything. Anyways, we're all home. All the girls bathed and had their milk. And oh my gosh, I'm like hoping they just sleep all night long. But They went down. They were down and out. Yeah, I wanted to acknowledge some of your comments. So there's a <laughs> comment from Nicole O. And I love you, Nicole. You comment almost like daily and yeah, i noticed that. your comments actually a long time ago too she writes judy have you tried playing beyonce to soothe mia and kira like you did with juliana i wonder if they'd have the same reaction actually i have played beyonce with them and they don't have that same reaction 
they actually prefer more classical music. Um, what's that channel you play on Pandora? Totoro, my neighbor Totoro. Yeah, it's really nice soothing music and they seem to like that better than hip hop. From under the shade, she writes, she or he writes, how do you tell the difference for the twins? Oh, that's a good one for you. It's a secret. No, it's I gotta admit, it's getting harder to tell a difference. Sometimes I caught myself staring at, I don't remember which one. I was staring at a baby for like a good 30 seconds trying to figure out which baby they are. Eyes. To me, it's all about the eyes. Kira's eyes are bigger and Kira's face is more oval, whereas Mia's is round. Renee Howard says, please tell me what eyeliner you're wearing. It looks perfect and I must have it in my life. <laughs> you know, I wore my eyeliner thicker yesterday. Hey, I thought that was for me. Okay. The eyeliner was L'Oreal's um, 24 hour infallible. It looks like a marker, but it's super thin and it's amazing. I really do recommend that. So Infallible by Beyonce? No, it's just a L'Oreal brand. Oh my gosh, I'm like so annoyed. Actually, I'm just tired. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for leaving your comments and we will see you guys manana. Thank you, little one. Yeah.